Casey, and uh, I just wanted to welcome you to my new mini series, Brave Rewards for Beginners. Um, this should probably be two or three, or actually maybe three or four different videos showing you how to set up your Brave Rewards if you're a content creator or if you're just getting into the Brave, Brave Browser community. If you have not already set up your Brave Browser, there will be a link in the description. Uh, it's a referral and you can click on that and you can set up your Brave and it will help support me and give me I think five dollars worth of bat for a referral and it'll help you uh, support your family and your community and the other people who are using Brave Browser. So the first thing I wanted to go over in this video was how to actually buy your bat and transfer it to your bat wallet on the Brave Browser and there's just a couple things I wanted to go over real quick. The first thing, the first thing you really need to do is you got to go to Coinbase or some other platform in order to purchase your bat. Now I already did a video. Uh, this is actually my the second time I've done this video, and I had some technical difficulties the first time. So I'm actually re um, refilming this. Basically, you've got three. Basically, for this process, you've got three three wallets. Your first wallet is your Coinbase where you're going to purchase your bat. The second wallet that you have is your Brave Rewards and you'll find that up here in the uh, upper right hand corner. When you click on this little triangle, the bat triangle, it will show you where to add funds to. And then you have your third, um, you have your third, third wallet which is your Brave Rewards and Creators, creators page. So all three of these are going to have to be integrated, I guess, kind of together or used simultaneously. Now there's a big difference between uh, between these three. The the first one in Coinbase is where you're actually going to purchase this, purchase your bat, and then you're going to send your bat to this platform here. And again, you can access this by clicking the little triangle up in the right hand corner of the browser. Now the difference between the coin between Coinbase and your rewards uh, rewards window is when you send your bat from Coinbase to your Brave Rewards. This is just your tipping mechanism. This you can't really, as far as I'm aware of, you can't really you can't really you can't withdraw your rewards from the Brave browser in this area here. And if you can, I haven't figured out how to do it. Um, this is really just meant for you to be tipping people. So think of it like, think of it like you buy your bat on Coinbase, and then you have it sent basically to your pocket, and that's where your tipping money comes from. So you basically just reach in your pocket and you give tips out as you're walking along the street or walking along and seeing people. That's how. That's what that's for. So I would not recommend sending all of your bat to your brave. To your Brave wallet. I would just send as much as you plan on tipping for the month to the Brave platform. Now however when you are a content creator and you get this all set up which I'm going to go over here soon in another video then you will then be directed to this page here which is a Brave Rewards Creators and it's uh, publishers.basicattention.org and this is where you're actually going to set up your wallet with Uphold. Um, when people send you tips the tips are going to automatically be deposited to your Uphold wallet. And you'll set that up once you get into the uh, creators page. And once you uh, and then once you start getting tips from your content creation, you'll be able to have the option to transform it into or to transfer it into you know euros or US dollars or BTC or Ethereum or whatever it is you want to. So let me just make one thing clear. You don't have to know anything about cryptocurrency or tokens to use this platform because once you have this set up, you can actually, all the tokens that get sent to you from Brave, they can actually be transferred right into USD and then deposited into your bank account. So I just wanted to make that clear so it doesn't scare anybody off. So in the first video that I made that obviously I had to redo, I was in Coinbase and I basically just went over here to the buy and sell on Coinbase. And you just go ahead and you put in your Visa or whatever and you put in, you know, $10 or something. And then it automatically, well, we're not doing BTC. Um, we're doing basic attention. 
and then you go ahead and you make your purchase and then once it's in your account in your dashboard you're going to want to go to your dashboard to your accounts I think you will go down to bat and then you're going to want to open up your rewards which is in your brave browser in the top right hand corner that, that I showed you before right here and then you're going to want to go to add funds and then go right here you're going to highlight this and you're going to copy that and then you're going to come over here to coinbase and you're going to put it in send and this is where you'll enter the rest of your information for sending your funds and i hope that you are versed enough um, on coinbase to be able to do this yourself otherwise you're a an extreme green newbie at this and I have not made a video for that because there are hundreds of videos on the internet showing you how to use Coinbase if you're just getting into crypto. So we're going to skip that for now. So basically after you send your bat, it's going to show up in your rewards. Let me X out of this. It's going to end up in your rewards on your Brave browser and it says your wallet right here. And then of course your bat balance is going to go up. So once that's there, this is what you're going to use to tip to tip out your content creators and the people who you're supporting. All right. Now, if you're on the other side of the fence where you're actually one of the content creators, um, in another video, I'm going to show you how to set this up, um, how to how to link up your rewards with your YouTube. But for now, I'm just trying to help you um, understand what these different wallets are for and how you're supposed to use them. So, in um, so just to kind of wrap things up here, I don't want to make this too long. If you're buying basic attention, keep all of your basic attention on Coinbase. Okay. When you're running out of your tip, when you're running out of um, your balance for tips, then go to Coinbase and send some more tips over. And that way you've got a running balance here that you can continually use. If you try to, if you, I haven't found a way to withdraw my bat out of here. If I just wanted to get out of, you know, crypto altogether, you know, just for whatever reason, for emergency, then I don't actually know of a way that I can pull out my bat tokens from this platform here. Unless I go over here and I start, unless I go over here and I start tipping myself like 10 bat and I just keep doing it over and over again until my balance is gone. So that's why you just want to keep enough in there for tipping people. And then again, if you're a content creator, um, what you're going to do is you're going to be you're going to set up your uphold wallet, and that's where all of your bat that's where all of your your donations are going to go to, and that's where you can manage your uh, you know manage your profile, manage your where your funds are going. So that was just a so this is just a quick video. I hope that. Um, I, I hope that this uh, provided some value to you. If you've got any questions about this, because I may not have covered everything, um, you can just leave a comment in the uh, below in the description, and I'll you know I'll hit you back up, and um, maybe we can figure it out. Um, and also, I've got my um, I also am a content creator. Obviously, if this video provided value to you, I'd really appreciate it if you just go up here and you know give me a little uh, a little bat tip. And, uh, you know, it helps support me and helps support the channel so I can keep, you know, continue making these type of videos because I really enjoy it for the most part. So, um, and then also just a little shill for myself. Um, I've got, I'm working on my website and I'll go ahead and pull it up to you, uh, pull it up for you real quick if you want to check it out. And right now it's just a landing page for, you know, a coming soon. Um, so if you want to leave your email when we before we launch the site you'll get a notification saying that uh, the website is getting getting ready to be launched and you know you can be the first to jump in there and check out what's going on and this sales or deals or whatever we got going on in there so that would be really cool and I'd appreciate if you go check that out and also I'm going to leave a link in the uh, link in the description if you have not signed up with the brave browser just go down to the link click on that and set up your Brave browser. And I gotta tell you from my own personal experience, I've been using Brave browser now for, I don't know, maybe, you know, almost a month now maybe. And I was using Firefox. It was starting not to work very well for me. So I, I actually jumped over to the Brave because I wanted to start, you know, I wanted to start producing more content and supporting the community. And uh, the Brave browser actually works a lot better than it does with than, than Firefox as far as pulling up websites and loading them up. 
Um, like for instance, my uh, Shopify account, I could not get it. Firefox has a huge problem loading up uh, Shopify. I don't know why, but it does. And uh, as soon as I uploaded, you know, Brave and got going with that, man, it was just it just fires up every website really quick. So I'm actually really impressed with the website. And of course, it's got all sorts of security features and whatnot. And if you want to learn more about that, you can actually go on to go onto YouTube. And there's again, there's a lot of videos out there, people uh, introducing you to the Brave browser itself and how to set it up and all that stuff. And I think you can just go to those people and um, you know go to them and uh, and you know you can learn how to set it up with those guys. Um, but other than that, I appreciate uh, I appreciate you uh, checking in. Uh, I look forward to setting. I look forward to making the next video on the uh, mini series. Look forward to seeing you again. I appreciate it, and uh, I'll talk to you later. Peace out.